All right, hey you guys, thank you so much for dropping by my channel. And today I have an updated notepad collection to share with you guys. Now this is not all of my notepads, but this is the bulk of my notepads. Um, I also have um, notepads on clips trips, and they're in my craft area. And those are my favorite ones. So um, <laughs> I, it's not in this pile. But in this one, I have... Okay, I have junk in here. Okay. Um, I have this notepad that says Dollar Tree on it. And this was a Christmas gift to me. Thank you for that. Then I also have this. The best things in life aren't things. Then this one, it says when... Okay, it's, I guess it's uh, by Susan Branch. Okay. And these ones are just loose notepads. And I use them. What I do with the old notebooks, I, um, if I'm not going to use them for notes, I chop them up into smaller notepad sizes. And then I use them to make notes and post-its and uh, grocery lists, things like that. So I always have these loose ends. So I always try to make sure that I have uh, plenty of these because I use them for scrap paper. I don't throw paper away even if they're messed up. I know, it's just for scrap. But the last stages of my scrap paper is after I've written on them and, and you know, it was the end of that. And, you know, even index cards, things like these. I cut them up into smaller pieces. And then, like I said, it becomes a smaller notepad that I can use for the future. To um, put notes in them and things. And usually, they would be like, you know, random um, index cards. Things like that. So I make post-it notes for those as well. And then I also have post-it notes and you can get those at you know Walmart and Dollar Tree and things like that. That's why I haven't really been purchasing paper products because I have a ton of them you guys. I just have a ton of them and I haven't used them up already and each time the school year ends my kids they bring me notebooks and things like that to, to cut up and that's what I do. And this one, I think I found this at Michael's. And it's just a, a, or maybe Target. I don't know exactly where I got this from, Target or maybe a Kroger. It's a sticky flag, and they're five colors and 25 sheets, but they're unopened, you guys. So it could go either way, like I can use it or I can gift them. So which is... Most of the time, I give these things if they're, um, what do you call this? If they're still sealed. And I think I got this one from somebody's yard sale. Because, see, the price is, like, on the side. But I think I got that from somebody's yard sale. See, there's some more papers. I think I'm going to bring that out so I can use it up. This one, Jot, is from the Dollar Tree. It's a magnetic list bag, so it has the magnet in the back of it. This was another bunch of index cards. I guess the kids didn't use it for the school year and the school brought it back. So I have a few of those index cards as well. I don't really um, open them up unless I use them. So they're all sealed for the most part, not unless I bought them without the seal. And this one's still sealed, see? And I also have this one. It's like a thumbs up, thumbs down, and this one's thumbs up. And I think um, I already used this. That's why it's open. And this one's still new. It's sealed. <laughs> okay. These ones are the monthly ones that I stick on my refrigerator which is right now it's February so I'm gonna remove this one 
and um, stick it to the refrigerator. So whatever, I go by whatever month, so I don't really finish them all up each month. So I um, hide them or I put it back in the door or in this box whenever the months have uh, passed until they're all done. So far, this is how thick they are. I haven't really used them up. This one is another one of those sticky notes. I might have found this at the dollar spot at the dollar target dollar spot. Not quite sure. This was from the Dollar Tree. It says you are amazing. There's some more loose pads, loose paper. This one's a memo. I think I picked this up at the thrift store. So there's that. Oh, this is from work. I got this from work. <clears throat> These other list notepads. I'm going to um, put them up. Some of the ones that are branded, they are from work. Because they, um, they give them away or they throw them away. And I'm like, hey, can I have this? <laughs> so they're like, yeah, sure. Because sometimes they change up um, supplies. This one is a, a lunchbox note. And I think I picked this up from the... Uh, I forgot. I think Goodwill. I'm not quite sure. But some of them are still sealed. Yeah, they're Goodwill. See? <laughs> I was right. And um, I give them as gifts for when I make my um, boxes or my giveaway I add these things to it especially if they're sealed like that because I don't really you know have much um, use for them oh uh, this is just a tag I think that was my daughter she threw, uh, she threw it away so I picked it up and kept it this one is a wish list one, list pad. I'm not quite sure where I picked this one up from. Hmm. <laughs> I have no clue. Uh, probably, I don't know. I have no idea. I, I go to many stores and probably Dollar General. This one is a notepad, or uh, notes. And I think this one is from the Dollar General. And this one's kind of weird because it's like really hard to open up. Like it doesn't open all the way. I have to really bend it hard. But I don't want to bend it hard. So it's 40 pages in there. This one is the sticker notes. I think this is from Dollar Tree. Yep, Dollar Tree. It's when the case stop won't stop, you guys. Checking out the Dollar Tree. All right, here's another list pod. Sit back and relax. Usually, I buy my notepads from the Dollar Tree or Dollar General. But, you know, I run into different things, different places, but mostly the Dollar Tree. It says, pleasant words are as honeycomb, sweet to the soul. Yeah, I just took a shower, so my hair is up in a bun. So I just decided to make this video because I'm just chilling right now. This one is the milk. And this one's from the Dollar Tree. This one is Shine as Lights in the World. Dollar Tree. And these are just loose pads. <clears throat> I'm not quite sure where I got this from. Might be the thrift store. Uh, might be from work because it's like, looks like a company name. 
this one's from the Dollar Tree. And it's still sealed. The Dollar Tree. And this one's. Yep. From work. This one's, I think it's from the Goodwill, and I think it was, or somebody's yard sale. I'm not quite sure, because these are just the same things that I pick up. I think this might be thrift store, but there's um, other um, things to them. But these are um, loose pads, because they're not stuck on anything, so I am going to... Um, Use those up. This one's from Wow World of Walker Blizzard. Gave me some female pads. Yeah, I haven't played Wow because um, I don't have a gaming computer right now. But um, yeah, because it requires a really nice game. from the dollar spot at Target. You can tell, I guess, because of the sticker. That's why I don't know. Oh, this one's from the Dollar Tree. Yes. This one's from the Dollar Tree. Um, this one. I think I picked this up from the craft mall. I'm pretty sure. Because it's different. It's extra. <laughs> it's extra. Yeah, me, I meant by extra because see, it has, it comes with a pen. And then it's like really fancy looking. And I put tape on it, so it's probably from the um, craft mall. This one's Dollar General, see? DG Office. This says, My Kitchen, My Rules. This one's High Five in the Face. Alright. Next one is Sage Jot. Dollar Tree. Next up is a Shopkins. I think this one's Dollar General. Oh, no. It's Target Dollar Spot. You see that sign? So that's from the Dollar Spot. From the Target. Target. This one's the Dollar Tree. This one's the Dollar Tree. This one's the Dollar Tree. This one's Sweet Life. I think this is Dollar Tree as well. Yep. Uh -huh. 
Okay, and this one is a uh, Dollar Tree. Yes, sir. The Dollar Tree. Yes, this one's of the Dollar Tree. No? Yep. Pop, pop, pop. This one is from the Dollar Tree. <laughs> Uh, okay. This one is from the Dollar Tree. Alright, you guys. And I have this huge one that has a kitty on it, you guys. And it has a pin on it. And it is big. It's like humongous. It's like huge. See that? I think I picked this up from the Goodwill, maybe. I don't know. It's been a while. I know. I'm really slow at using paper. Okay, now for the fun stuff. These are like the really tiny ones that I found. I find random at random places. Now, what I'll do is get the real loose ones and use them for scrap paper. And I think this one's extra for my kids' Valentine's Day stuff. But, I mean, I could still use it to write stuff there. This one's shaped like a, a t-shirt. And you guys can make your own. Like, you just trace the paper and make your own fancy paper. This one is the red sh horseshoe paper. And this one's a little bit fancier. So I try not to use them because they're so cute. But I use them for gift giving. So if you guys ever receive a notepad from me as well, that means it came from my collection. <whistles> and this one's kind of loose. Pull that up. This one looks like... um. It's an adhesive notes for the iPhone. See me? <clears throat> and then the rest of these are real tiny. I also have Kiropi. Kiro Kiropi. Yes. So adorable. Are they cute? Sorry, guys. My foot's getting stuck on the the box. This is a flower one, and I still have a bunch of them. Then I also have this small one. Me at underpaid.com. G is for gloomy. This one is um like it has a little note note notes on them, but they're sealed, you guys. So I don't want to open them, but I just want to show you what they are. Since this one C is for crazy, I opened one, and then you guys can see it's it's that's the design that is in there. <laughs> And they're all the same. They're so cute. And these are just like a little um, notes. And there's a whole ton of them in here, you guys. Like little post-its. See them? Because it comes with a package. So I can't really throw them out. So I gift them. It's a thought pad. There's just a few in there. See? They're just real tiny ones. Like, so cute. Like, when you're trying to make notes or, like, when you're trying to make the um, envelopes or the, um, what do you call this? The crafts. 
stuff and you want to stick like little things in there, this is what you put in them. When you make your love envelopes, your craft love envelopes, these are the things that you stick them on. You hide it in there with your gift cards or if you want to give them cash or whatever coins, you stick these in there with your your packages or your, your love um, your love packages and your love envelopes and craft stuff. These are the sort of things that you stick in there. And you don't have to stick the whole thing. Just get a few sleeves of them, you know, and stick them on it. that I can use and then if not I just leave them in here it looks like I have a few loose ones so I'm gonna take the loose ones and use them up and then change my other ones so I know the progress of, of how I'm doing on using up my notepads so that is it you guys hope you guys enjoyed my notepad collection and I'll see you guys next time Bye.